Today we're going to review part number 118656. This is the Tow Ready T1 vehicle wiring harness with the four-way flat trailer connector. This is a custom fit part. It is designed to fit in a Dodge Challenger starting in the year 2015. Now on a custom fit part, what I always recommend to do is go to our website, use our fit guide, put in your year and model vehicle, and it'll tell you if this will work for your application. Now this does provide this four-way flat trailer connector at the back of your vehicle, and this is to power your trailer signal lights. The connection points on these are very easy to connect and very quick to do. Basically they use these plug-in T connectors and you'll connect them to the connection points which are in the trunk of the vehicle, usually behind the tail lights. You'll run this white wire to a ground and then this black wire is a hot lead that'll need to go to the car battery and that'll supply everything the wire and harness will need. Now it comes with all these pieces in a minute I'm going to show you how these pieces all connect. But first, this modulite that's included, this is to ensure that your vehicle's wiring will match that of your trailer. It is a powered module, and that's why you'll use this black wire coming out of it to connect directly to the vehicle's battery, and it'll supply power directly to this module, and that's to avoid overloading your vehicle's electrical system. The wire that the four-way's connected to, you can see, is a nice 16-gauge bonded wire that'll run out the back and plug into the trailer. And also, you notice on the four-way, it comes with this integrated dust cap which you just put over the terminals and that'll help protect when it's not plugged in you just put that over there and help protect the terminals from any damage or from the elements. Few specs on this harness the maximum amperage for the stop and turn light circuit is 4.2 amps for the tail light circuit is 7.5 amps. So to do to connect this it's pretty easy to do. They do give you a nice set of detailed instructions which even includes pictures on where the connection points are. But basically what you'll want to do is you'll start at the back in the trunk behind the tail lights and what you'll do is start on the passenger side and you'll take the T connector that's connected to the green wire and what you'll do is go behind the tail light, unplug the harness from the tail light and this will tee into that. And then the length of wire that has the yellow wire in it that will run over to the driver's side. So you'll run this length of wire over there and do the same thing behind the tail lights, plug this in. You'll run this bonded wire out the back, it's for t connecting to the trailer. And then you'll have two wires left, the white wire and the black wire. White wire is going to be a ground, you can see it has an eyelet on it. So you want to connect this to a good clean ground that's already on the vehicle. If you need to make one, they do include a grounding screw that you can make up a good clean ground. <clears throat> and then the black wire needs to be run to the vehicle's battery. And on the Dodge Challenger, that battery is in the trunk of the car on the passenger side. So they give you a short length of wire to make your connection. They include the butt connectors that you put onto the power wire, connect it to one end of the other wire, run this wire to the battery. Now you don't want to connect this directly to the battery. What you're going to do is run it through this inline fuse holder. So take the other butt connector, connect it to one end, one side of the inline fuse holder, just like that. And then on the other end, you'll take this included eyelet connector, connect that, and this is a connect to the positive post of your battery. Once that's all connected, all you'll need to do so open up your inline fuse holder, take your included 15 amp fuse, insert it in, put the cap back on, and your harness will be all ready to go. Now they do include some cable ties to take up any length of wiring that might be hanging down. <clears throat> and they do, what you, the other thing you want to do is they include this piece of double face tape. This module does need to be attached to a nice flat surface so it doesn't bounce around. So you can use this double face tape to do that or you can also use the cable ties to do that also. But that should do it for the review on part number 118656, the Tow Ready T1 vehicle wiring harness with the four-way flat trailer connector.